Welcome back to Cash Simplified Channel. We continue with our integrated based question, part two. Question number 13.1. The school is planning an outing to the center. Give one example of how GPS technology can be used to plan the outing. How you can use GPS to plan your outing. One, to determine the best route to avoid traffic. Two, to calculate the estimated travel time. Three, to identify the nearby fuel station or rest stop. Four, to set the geofencing alerting for safety. And the next one is to provide the navigation update. So these are the use of UPS for travelers. 13.2.1. Wireless connection used in BYOD is Wi-Fi. Advantages of BYOD to a company here, yeah. not to you as um, an employer or the employee or as a learner. It reduced hardware cost. Employees are familiar with their own device. It increased productivity as employees can work remotely. It reduced IT maintenance costs and it allows flexibility in the workspace. What are the items to include in our AUP, Acceptable User Policy? What outlines what you can do and what you cannot do with devices or network? One, devices must be updated with antivirus. Employees should not download an authorized software. Personal devices must connect only to the company approved network. Employees must back up their work securely. Lost or stolen devices must be reported immediately. And then 13.3.1, the printer used for CAD plastic item, a 3D printer. Then the advantages of 3D printers, it reduced material waste, enable rapid prototyping, allowing for custom design, shortening prod production time, can produce complex structures than the traditional methods, which cannot do. 13.4.1, give two benefits of telecommuting. That is working from home, which reduce Office related costs, increases employee productivity, expands hiring opportunities beyond location limit, lower absenteeism because you're working from home, and it provides business continuity during disruption. Like during COVID, most people were working from home. 13.4.2 Two technical, that ICT related questions that might reasonably be included in the list of the a, um, AUP. That is two ICT related questions for telecommuting. ICT question for telecommuting when you're working from home, what are the ICT questions that you must take into consideration? One, obvious, you must know that whether you have a stable high-speed internet connection, you are working from home, so you need internet. Do you have a stable internet connection? Two, do you have a secure VPN to access the company data? Because some data are only for the employees. So when you're working outside the um, workplace, you need a secured VPN. Do you have an updated device with the required security purchase? Do you attend virtual meetings during working hours? And do you have a backup power source? So these are the ICT related questions you need to ask when you want to do telecommuting or in other words, when you want to work from home. Two reasons to choose a desktop over a laptop. Desktop is easy to be upgraded, better cooling and longer lifespan, and then has a better performance for the same price, easier to repair desktop, and then support larger monitors as well. 
13.5.2 reasons to choose a laptop. Portability, built in batteries, is all in one design. Energy efficiency. Laptops are having energy efficiency as compared to desktop. And it also has a wireless connectivity. Now, advantages of a hybrid laptop. Hybrid laptop is the one that you normally call two in one, which combines laptop with tablet. So it has a touch screen and other. So it can function as both laptop and also a tablet. Right. The next question, which type of devices are referred to above? Here they are talking about the shop sells devices with ergonomic features designed to reduce the likelihood of RSI. So the type of ergonomic devices are the keyboard, the mice, the office chairs, the adjustable um, monitors, and then the standing desk. For a place like shop that sells devices. Now, 13.6.2, give one specific example of such an ergonomic feature. Here, we are talking about features, not devices. Split keyboard to reduce wrist strain, adjustable chair, mouse with a, um, a control grip where the shape has been bent or something like that. Height adjustable monitor stand, and then also anti-glare screen. So these are the features for ergonomic um, devices. Now, reasons for remote software installation to allow IT support to troubleshoot or update the computer remotely. So in other words, why do you need the VPNs and others so that you can work from home? Now, the next question, which is talking about monitors. We have 16 is to 9. What specification does the 16 is to 9 refers to? That's the aspect ratio. Which hardware item not mentioned would you allow to use the monitor for video conference without the need for any additional peripheral devices? That's the webcam. For um, video conference, you need a webcam. Give two tips to prevent data corruption. What you have to do so that your data is not corrupted. You must eject storage devices properly. Like if you put a flash drive, you must remove them properly. Avoid shutting down while saving. Use error checking tools. Maintain stable power supply. That is UPS. And you must regularly fix or scan your system for errors. 13.10, a customer has the following requirement for a computer that she wants to buy. The computer must boot up very quickly, and then the computer must be able to run multiple tasks. The user wants to be able to implement a good backup policy. Give three hardware specifications or recommendations that will satisfy all these. Here, first one is to boot up and also to run multiple tasks. So the best hardware will be for SSD, for booting up, and then also multi-core processor for multitasking, and external hard drive for offline backup. So for the first one, you need the SSD, and then also the multi-purpose, like quad-core or i7 or i5 processor. Now, 13.11. One of the shop assistants saw something about handwriting recognition features of the note taking app. What's the best, what's the benefit of handwriting recognition? They convert handwritten notes into editable digital text. So the handwritten notes, you can just convert it into text. That's the function of it. Now, 13.2, uh, 12. Suggest one item for this list that will help a person to recognize a pirated DVD. Pirated DVD. If you want to see when you check, there's no hologram or official packaging. 
of it, then you know that it, it has not been pirated. Now, activity 14, explain the most likely reason why a test page sent to the inget contain a strange printing and did not make sense. Maybe there's incorrect or outdated printer driver. What must be done to ensure that the printout are, are always automatically sent to the laser? You must change the default printer setting. Give two reasons for speech recognition. We use speech recognition to help users with disabilities to speed up typing and web searches, to allow hands-free interaction, to improve accessibility, and to enable voice-activated commands as well. 14.2.2, list the input device for speech recognition. We need microphone for speech recognition because you need to send something to the computer so that to be able to convert for you. So it's a microphone, or you can say headset as well. Microphone or headset. Right, give two limitations of speech recognition. Different voice, different accent it struggles with it. It requires quiet environment, may misinterpret certain words. It cannot recognize multiple voices at once, and it needs proper training for better accuracy. 14.2.4, give two advantage for a driver in being able to use a virtual voice assistant such as Siri. It allows hands-free operations, provide navigation and read out messages and notifications. So Cortana and then the Siri from iOS, the question wanted the advantages of virtual voice assistant. Define the term biometric and give two physical features. That is a unique biological trait for security. And then example is fingerprint, facial recognition, voice patterns, palm print, iris scan, and the rest. What is OCR? It converts um, scan text into a digital format or editable one a digital editable format. And then the input device for OCR is a scanner. Differentiate between a software, a soft copy and hard copy. The hard copy is a printed out copy and then the soft copy is digital. Give two ways a teacher can use OCR by con converting old worksheet or note into a digital format or by scanning student work for grading. What's the product key? The unique code that activates software or prevents piracy. Two features with incompatible software. It may not function properly and can cause system crashes. Differentiate between updating and upgrading. Updating fixed back and upgrading add new features. Differentiate between e-learning and m-learning. E-learning is a learning through electronic devices, mainly computers. And then m-learning is learning via mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets, and then you work without the internet. So e-learning, you need internet connection before you can work or learn, and at M learning, you don't need internet connection. For instance, when you save your work on your mobile device, it's M learning. You don't need any internet connection. By E learning, like for instance, when you join teams for virtual learning courses, then it is E learning. Explain what MOOC is in the context of E learning. MOOC refers to massive open online course, which is free course offered over the web. You see most, when you go to website, most schools, most universities are offering free courses or even individuals are having free courses like Excel, whereby you can learn. Like if I upload 
a lot of uh, my notes on the YouTube when you get access to them and then you learn. It's part of the MOOC, Massive Open Online Course. Computers can offer training to people to help them to improve their skills. Give four advantages of using computer-based learning. You can work at your own pace. You can be immediately assessed and given feedback. You are motivated to learn by the immediate feedback you receive. Learning materials can be easily updated and then customized. Working with online content promotes green computing. And you can collaborate with other learners or other students online as well. These are advantages of computer-based or e-learning. So this is also an advantage of e-learning. So when the question asks you about the advantages of e-learning, it's the same thing. 14.6.2, give two risks of BYOD in online learning. Security risk, that the devices can be stolen and compatibility issues. Give three ways VR enhanced learning. It creates immersive experience. It stimulates real world scenarios. It makes abstract concepts tangible as well. 14.8, um, give two reasons why backup is important to protect data and then it also protect against cyber attack like ransomware and then malware. Um, how monitors are measured diagonally, the use of 3D printer for car features, it can create custom badges or VIN plate. Give two backup policy guidelines you must store in a uh, multiple location. Regularly verify backup integrity or regularly backup, or you can also set up automatic backup. So here it says set up automatic backup. 14.12. Give two reasons why a computer may prompt a user to start up the operating system. That two reasons for safe mode when there's a um, system failure due to corrupt file or malware infection. So we bring our system technology to an end, questions and answers. The next um, episode will be network and internet technologies. Then we will finalize with the integrated scenario questions and then also solution development. Thank you for your time.